Hey yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Nick Che. Today we're coming back with another video. Now this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a while now because I get tons of DMs about people asking me, should I start a YouTube channel? What do I need to start a channel? You know, is it even worth it? So I thought I'd break that down for you guys today. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nicholas Che. I make videos talking about college, lifestyle, fashion, content creation, and all of that. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to hit that subscribe button because like I said, guys, I have a lot of content coming for you, but let's not waste any time and jump right into it the question of whether or not you want to become a youtuber start a youtube channel genuinely all comes down to asking yourself that and it seems very simple but at the end of the day no one should be persuading you no one should have any influence over whether or not you start a channel because that decision ultimately starts and ends with you you're going to make that decision to pull the trigger and start filming videos upload consistently try to maintain this brand image and have a community and that's honestly the end goal of any youtuber it's not about the fame it's not about the fortune it's about having a community like you guys which I'm very grateful for to share your thoughts share your opinions and what you value into the world and hopefully make someone else's day just a little bit better by you know uploading a video sharing your content and showing what your life looks like so at the end of the day you need to take some deep self-reflection and ask yourself is it really worth it because I will tell you guys right now that it is a huge commitment not just a time commitment but everything mentally physically investment wise financially you're gonna be putting in a lot of capital to purchase your first camera get some lighting get sound equipment you know travel for vlogs shopping whatever it is that you want to do on your channel so that's my most important tip is that you can't be going into this without some kind of commitment to yourself and to your fans and your viewers that you're going to be consistent with it because there's nothing worse seeing a youtuber who has a lot of potential you know make a few videos they're really good they start to pop off a little bit and then they just die off you never hear from them again and it's just very disappointing and it's just a waste in the youtuber community so i would hate for any of you guys to become like that which is why i just recommend that you know make that strong value to yourself and hold yourself to it Number two, you need to be doing it for the right reasons. If you are looking to get into the YouTube community because you want to drive a nice car, have a nice mansion and travel all the time, then I hate to be the one to break it to you, but that is likely not going to happen for you because any type of viewer is able to see right through that bullshit. You know, if you are going in with the wrong reasons and not having the right intentions for starting a YouTube channel other than to just make money and, you know, have a lot of Instagram followers and clout or whatever, then people are gonna see right through that bullshit. It's not authentic, it's very fake, and you're not gonna do well, like people aren't going to enjoy watching your videos they're not going to support you in whatever you do so if you don't go in with the right intentions then it's just gonna set off a bad foot and it's hard to recover from that especially if you start off your reputation of you know trying to show off for all this clout or whatever not like someone we know on the channel right Number three, I think a very important decision to consider when starting a YouTube channel is you need to take a step back and look at what you are doing in your life and prioritize the things that are more important. So obviously, if you are a student, then that should be your priority unless you have a dying passion to create videos, make content for other people, then you know being a student should be your full-time priority. Someone like me, who is more so a filmmaker and photographer and enjoys making this stuff, this is a priority for me and that doesn't mean I can't balance and manage my time with my academics, but I'm passionate about this, I enjoy this. So if you aren't going to be able to be fully dedicated if you don't know the ins and outs of filming and editing and that's going to be a big hurdle to get over initially then you need to take a step back and really think and prioritize whether you need to be studying for the MCAT you need to be getting ready for grad school you need to be doing whatever else it is that is important in your life before you know making that jump to start a YouTube channel now, a little side tip from that is I don't think if you start a YouTube channel you need to like go all in all at once and buy all this equipment like you can start gradually you can start from the basics and with what you have I always recommend this to anyone that's starting a YouTube channel but you can literally film and vlog on your phone on any basic DSLR to sh shoot your sit down videos it really wasn't until I decided that you know this can be a you know full time or part time thing where I made the leap and decided to you know invest in some lights invest in some better camera and audio equipment and that just you know took my production quality a little bit higher but honestly I could still make videos anywhere I am with the phone that I have edit on you know iMovie on your computer and then upload that to YouTube it is super simple anyone can literally do it these days it's just a matter of who's gonna do it right and who's gonna put in the most work that is going to be successful now my fourth point going off of that is like I said you can't have asset don't think that you're going to be able to put in one or two hours into making a decent video and hope that it gets thousands of views because that is the exact opposite mentality of what will happen the amount of hours and the work that you put into a video will be positively correlated with with the impressions and the views that it gets you know that's not all the time there are 
times where I'll put in 20 hours into a video and it doesn't do as well as I hoped. But I've recently been learning that it's really just a crapshoot. You need to be, you know, uploading consistently and just hope that one day one of them will do well. And you know, there's nothing that we can do to control that algorithm. But if you have asked anything in YouTube, it's not going to do well for you or for your channel. So like I said, you have to be fully committed. You have to make sure that this is something that you're going to be wanting to invest a lot of time, financial investments, lack of sleep and learning a lot. Now, finally, this is just a little mini tip. I think it's pretty important that you find a niche, whether it's specific or broad, you just need to find something that you can you know, tackle into right away and make videos about so that you're not just being too broad and trying to you know, fit too many niches all at one time. So obviously for me, it's college lifestyle and fashion, which is a, you know, a bit broader than most. But if you're going to beauty, if you're going to music production, if you're going into cooking, like those are very specific niches where you can exponentially grow faster because you're making consistent quality content about one specific subject. You know, as I reflect on the past year and a half, almost two years of being a YouTuber, um, there's a lot of things I've learned. It's a lot about time management. It's a lot about prioritization, which is basically what I've been telling you guys because I've learned this, but it's also been a ton of fun. Like I'm consistently striving to think of better video ideas, how I can make better content for you. What other avenues and opportunities are there for me to consider with this influencer life or whatever? You know, I got to meet Jimmy Fallon. I've been traveling a ton. I do get, you know, some brand deals and sponsorships. So I'm able to, you know, afford this lifestyle or whatever. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope that this was helpful, especially if you guys are looking to get into YouTube. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. My at is at Nicholas Che. I've been trying to respond to most of you guys, and I hope that you enjoy this video. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a comment, subscribe for more, and as always, don't stress, finesse.